Here's another dose calc example involving per dose versus per day. In my video prior to this, I did an example where we had a per dose versus per day and we had a distractor. The thing that may get you here is this maximum single oral dose being 450 milligrams. Now, always in dose calc, I read my question, how many milliliters should be given per day? Up here we have per dose. Gotta respect that. So if our goal is milliliters per day, let's start off with these milliliters right here at the top of our first fraction. We have that five milliliters, contains 75 milligrams of medication. We need to get rid of milligrams. And notice I'm bringing in the 450 milligrams every eight hours but this can also be referred to as 450 milligrams every dose. Now you may be thinking, well, why did I not bring this into the problem? This is the thing we have to be careful with here. So I'm gonna pause this for a second. I know our ultimate goal is milliliters per day, but again, let's talk about this. 15 milligrams per kilogram per dose. If we followed this order, how many milligrams would the child be receiving per dose? Let's talk about this. Well, we gotta get rid of kilograms and I'm using one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One is that we can cancel out the kilograms. And the second reason, the whole point of me using this conversion is so that we can tie in the child's weight of 92 pounds, canceling out our pounds. If we multiply our top numbers, 15 times 92, and divide by our bottom number of 2.2, we get approximately 627 milligrams per dose. Do you see the gotcha right here? If we followed this order, we would be giving way too many milligrams per dose because the maximum single or dose is 450 milligrams. So we don't want to follow this order. And in actuality, you want to talk to the provider, let them know about this. And let Let's assume they're saying, okay, yes, that was the wrong order. Let's just stick with the maximum dose of 450 milligrams. That's 450 milligrams per dose, or we can say 450 milligrams every eight hours because it does say Q8H. And the reason I'm showing you per dose versus per eight hours is because we can still get milliliters per day taking either one of these approaches. And I do find that it's about a 50-50 split that some students like to do a per dose and then some students like to tie in the 24 hours per day. Now, before we make that transition, I'm just gonna come in here and cancel out the milligrams. And right now we have milliliters per dose in this particular problem. We can get rid of dose by utilizing three doses per day. If you give a dose every eight hours, that will be three times per day because eight goes into 24 three times. Speaking of that, if you did take the 450 milligrams every eight hours, we can still get rid of hours. There's 24 hours in a day. And if you look at these two approaches, we have milliliters per day, milliliters per day. And I promise you, if you multiply your top numbers and divide by your bottom numbers, I don't care which one of these you do, you're going to get 90 milliliters per day. And I showed you these two approaches here, not to confuse you, but again, it's about a 50-50 split. Some students like to go ahead and take that every eight hours, convert it to three doses per day. Some students like to tie that eight hours into a 24 hour per day conversion. Very tricky dose count problem here, multiple steps involved per dose per day with some added twist to it.